Hello all. I welcome you all to this new video in MATLAB Octave series. This video would be a short video on how to use editor and in editor specifically we will be talking about what is script and what is a function and how you can use both of them for your everyday task or for your specific task and when to use it and how to use it will be will be taught in this video. So let's get started. So this is the editor window which you can open by either clicking this editor tab uh, here at the bottom or you can just type in edit. So this is the way how you can access the editor. So first of all let us define our problem statement. So here is a problem statement for our typing of code. We will be considering an ideal gas equation which is P is equal to rho RT where P is the pressure of gas, rho is the density of gas, R is the gas constant and T is the temperature of gas. Um, for our case we will be considering air as our medium and so the value of R would be 287 joule per kg Kelvin. Pressure for our case is 101325 pascals. Temperature is 30, uh, no, not 30, but it's 300 Kelvin. So we'll be trying to find out the value of rho, that is the density of air with the given properties. So let's jump into Octave and start coding. So first we'll be writing a script and we'll be seeing what script is while we are typing in the code. So as we saw that P for our case is 101.325 and we'll be entering colon to suppress the echo and then we'll write it's very important to write a comment just after what you type in as after some time you won't be you won't be uh, able to get what you wrote like for example p is equal to 101.325 and what is p for that case so we'll just type in p pressure of air in newtons per meter square and then we'll be uh, entering the value of r that is constant for our case and that is 287 and in uh, okay sorry guess constant in joule joule per kg kelvin and then the value of T that is the temperature of air and that is 300 in Kelvin. So you'd be typing in temperature of air in Kelvin and the value of R will be changing when you change the medium and for our case like we have assume, assumed to be air so we just take in 287 as its value. So while finding rho, we will be writing rho is equal to P by R T. This will be our answer, but uh, we would like to get the output in a slightly better form. So we will be just uh, using F printf to get the output in uh, sentence format. So we will be just leaving a line. So slash n and then at pressure percentage food Newton per meter square and temperature oh, sorry typo temperature Temperature being Kelvin, the resulting density is kg per meter cube, and then we'll be leaving one more line. So, and for the first, we have pressure, then temperature, and the value of rho. So this is what we created and we will be saving this uh, script that we have just. This
This is called script because we haven't written a function and I'll show what's the difference between the function and a script uh, when we are writing function. So this is a script just to understand. We'll be saving it and when we save it would be it's a good practice to save things because uh, when if it's if your system crashes and it gets pretty much uh, hard for you to get the data back so row ss because it's script so i have written ss and s double s because i have already saved row s as my previous uh, function so we are writing in row ss so just type in row ss so you will see that at pressure 101325 newton per meter square and temperature 300 kelvin the resulting oh density spelling is wrong but oh, then city i'm sorry just type in again but the answer would be same but just at pressure 101325 newton per meter square and temperature this the resulting density is 1.18 kg per meter cube actually your value would be somewhere like 1.1768 but we are rounding it off to two decimal places. So it would be 1.18 kg per meter cube. And you can just adjust the number of letters after the decimal just by changing the value here. Like, for example, if you just type in 4.5 everywhere, it would show your result up to the five digits after decimal. So we'll save it and we'll type row SS again. So you'd see like we have we right now have five digits after the decimal in every place is like one zero one three two five and then five zeros three hundred and five zeros and the resulting density is like one point one seven six eight three so this is how you can just change the number of digits after the decimal places and you can get more accurate result now we'll be creating a function so we'll be going in okay we won't be directly going into function but we just create a new script file uh, and in script file we'll write function row because uh, this place will write the output variable so row is equal to row ff and what are the input variables so for us the input variable are p and t while r is a constant so we we'll just uh, invoke the value of r within the function itself so r is invoked and row is equal to p divided by r into t and we'll save it so you see when you type oh, okay uh, so we have to save it so row ff because i already have a function by name row f so i just type in row ff so now in the row ff func uh, function you see that the function name is row ff and the input variables are p and t so for for our case the value of p is 101325 and the value of t is equal to 300 so uh, when just type in row is equal to row ff where row ff is the function that we just created and just enter p comma t because we have already named the variable p and t so there is no need to initialize the variable again but if you haven't initialized it over here you can just initialize it by writing like this like in place of p you can write one zero uh, i'm sorry in place of one zero uh, 325 you can just type in uh, 101325 at the place of p and 3 uh, 300 the place of k but it should be in order like when you just enter in the first would be taken as a suppression and then it will be taken uh, taken up as uh, temperature so just uh, note that thing and when you hit enter you would see that the value of rho is equal to 1.1768 and this is how you can just create a function and use it uh, I usually prefer to use function over script when my task is iterative like I need to enter uh, I'll need to get a more number of values of densities like uh, like I'm asked like you need to find a density at uh, 101325 and 300 uh, pressure 101325 pressure and 300 Kelvin temperature and also that I need to find pressure uh, that value of row at 101325 pressure and 500 Kelvin as temperature and so you can just see you don't need to change anything in the function and it's just the input variables that are changed but for the case of script you just need to go back into the script and change this value and you like it would be a cumbersome task for you so 
uh, you just need to prepare a function if the task is iterative and if the task isn't iterative you can just use script for your purpose so this is all for the script and function in matlab and octave thank you for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button subscribe our channel for more interesting updates in the coming week and don't forget to share this video with your friends and keep the learning spirit on till then Keep watching and be safe.